How's it going everyone? It's Abdallah here, bringing you guys a very awesome tutorial for the game Yokai Watch Wibble Wobble on the mobile device. Now, on today's tutorial, we're gonna go through and do the entire map showing you guys each and every hidden path and what requirements are needed for it. Now, shout outs to my friends over at Watch of Yokai for compiling a list of all of them. And of course, if you guys have seen my Let's Play episodes, you guys have known that I've come across some of these mysterious paths and unlocked them on my own, which is super cool. So anyway, if you guys are stuck and wondering, how do I get to the secret area? This is the video for you. So let's go through, no cuts, no editing. We're gonna go through every single stage. And as a bonus, I'll give you guys a little bit of information on the event stage, mystery way, super mystery way, and ultra mystery way. It's gonna be great. So if this tutorial is gonna help you out, definitely smash that like button and play the game. It's a free to play game and it is awesome. So here we go. We're gonna jump on in. Uh, so we're gonna start over here in, uh, what is this, like Springdale? We'll go to Springdale and we'll show you guys exactly what's going on with it. So here we go. This is Springdale. This is exactly where you're going to start your adventure. And I remember the first day that I played this game. It was so awesome. All right. So moving on, you're going through. And by this time, you already have a Jibanyan on your team. So literally, all you have to do is... Um, in order to get this Komasan, hidden stage number one, you're gonna need to play stage number nine and beat the level with Jibanyan. It's pretty easy, just beat the level with Jibanyan on your team, and then you'll unlock this pretty cool Komasan level. So when you go into the Komasan level, make sure that you have ice cream, because that's a specific item that Komasan likes a lot, if, in case you wanted to, get to befriend a Komasan. All right, so looking at the map, uh, we've got the Slimamander boss. Okay, the Slimamander boss, if you beat this Slimamander boss within 200 seconds on the clock, you will have access to this sewer level, which is sewer A. So sewer A is actually really good uh, because you can grind pain over here. You can get some uh, pretty rare items by doing so. All right, so we're gonna go back, actually not through this way, but we're gonna go back through the sewers and then we're gonna move on to the next area. Okay, so our second stage, by clicking on next over here, is going to be stage 32. So as you guys can know, you're gonna move all your way up over here to the Shoten Temple. Don't forget to pay your respects to it. Uh, and right over here is stage number 32, which is Granny looking like a granny. So, uh, in this one, all you have to do is achieve a combo of three or more. That means that uh, linking two Wibwobs together and then popping that is a one combo. Linking another two Wibwobs is a two combo. Do that within three seconds of each other and get a combo of three or more. Pretty simple to do. So if you do that on Scranny's level, you will unlock this Quaken level. Now, if you're going to go fight Quaken, make sure you bring some pretty good beef items, because that's exactly what he likes if you want to befriend him. He's a pretty good yokai. All right, so moving on, once we get to this boss, SV Snaggerjag, our good friend, all you have to do is beat SV Snaggerjag within 210 seconds. If you beat him that quickly, uh, you can have access to Sewer B. Sewer B is pretty cool. We've got some nice yokai over here. You'll see, um, yeah, a little yokai boss in the end. All right, so moving right back out of the sewer, we're gonna move on to the next area. Now, uh, this one was pretty fun because right over here, uh, you're gonna start off at the very bottom. You're gonna wake your way all the way to the top. The very first secret area is gonna be in area 51. Aliens exist, maybe, I don't know. Area 51, uh, you go through, clear the stage by popping 100 or less wibwobs. Kind of a challenge considering, uh, you know, a lot of people like to just spam the Wibwobs and, and go from there. So if you clear it with uh, without popping more than 100 Wibwobs, you will have access to Rayo Light, a Yokai Watch 2 exclusive Yokai. He's very awesome, by the way. He likes the uh, super sweet things. You can get him one of those um, jumbo parfaits or anything like that, and hopefully you can befriend him. All right, so that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see, are there any more? Yes, there is, right over here. Stage 55. Uh, right over here, this level, what we're going to do with this one is we're going to beat the level three times. Just beat it flat out three times, and by doing so, you'll have access to the Grumples stage. Grumples is pretty cool. You could go through and give her some amazing milk. Granny's in their milk, they love that so much. But anyway, give her the milk and hopefully you can befriend her. And if you want to take it a step further, you can give her the Ageless Powder, which is super hard to find, and Evolver. 
So that's pretty cool. That is hidden stage number four. We're gonna move on to do, 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 the boss, Sproink. Now, Sproink, you have to beat Sproink within 220 seconds. Now, you guys are noticing a pattern. Uh, Slime Mander was 200, SV Snagger Jug was 210, this one's 220. Guess what the next boss is gonna be? I'll let you guys guess that. Anyway, Sproink, beat him within uh, 220 seconds, and you will have access to the brand new sewers. All right, the sewers over here, you can get Tanbo if you wanted to, or you can pretty much just beat all these guys. Tanbo, pretty, pretty rare yokai, I would say. All right, uh, we are moving back. Now let's climb up out of these sewers and move on to the next area. Next area is going to be Downtown Springdale. Okay, Downtown Springdale, you start over here at uh, Central Station. Right over here in Area 62, if you beat this level with a Sultimate Attack, you will be all good to go. Beat the level with a Sultimate Attack, you will unlock Area... Secret Area number... Number 5. Awesome. So, Sinek is a pretty good yokai. If you can manage to grind for Sinek, you can raise up his Sultimate and allow him to help uh, enemies drop a lot more items, so he's pretty good. Make sure you bring a lot of fish items, like the urchin, I would highly suggest, because choice tuna is very, very expensive. Anyway, so moving on. Sinek is pretty good. Uh, we're gonna move on down over here. I think that's all the... Nope, here we go, number 81. Number 81 is Slice and Rice. Uh, in order to do this level, what you're gonna need to do is create a... Uh, a Wibwob that's size 15 or larger, meaning connect as many Wibwobs as you can so you get this gigantic size 15, and then pop it and you'll be good to go. Once you do that inside level 81, Grainpa, the recolor of Hungramps, uh, will be yours for the taking. Of course, he likes shrimp uh, rice balls, so give him some rice balls and hope for the best. Good old Grainpa. Alright, that's pretty cool. Uh, moving on. We have the boss. Oh, very cool. I love this guy. Massive face. He's got a gigantic face, and he's like probably the biggest yokai. Anyway, so beat Massive Face in. Did you guys guess it? How many seconds? 230? You're right. Beat him within 230 seconds to have access to this sewer. So, sewers over here, you can get I4. That's going to be pretty cool. Uh, but anyway, sewer D. Oh, I always click on this to go back. I'm just used to warping with the map rather than walking places. All right, so that's pretty cool. Uh, moving on, the next area we have right over here is Shopper's Row. Shopper's Row, we start all the way up top. So once you guys go on through, stage 90 with this Cheek Squeak? Yeah, <laughs> my favorite yokai. Uh, all you have to do in this level, stage 90, is create six or more bonus balls. Now, bonus balls have a chance of occurring if you pop wibwabs that are around maybe like 11 to about 15, there's a chance. The higher or the bigger the wibwab you pop, the more of a chance you'll get bonus balls. So bring a team of healers in case you need to and just link up some really big ones together. But six bonus balls is really not that hard to do if you do it right. So once you create that, uh, you will have access to Nerd, the bird nerd. Nerd, 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 the bird is the word. All right, anyway, so Nerd likes bread. If you have any Blagels, give him a Blagel or just give him these curry breads. Whatever you have in order to catch this nerd. All right, so moving on, you're going down Shopper's Row and you will find right over here, you'll be taken aback by Papa Windbag, this very awesome Yokai Watch 2 exclusive Yokai. So Papa Windbag, in his level, all you have to do is do, 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 bananas. Yeah, unlock bananas by linking together 20 or more Wibwabs. I would highly recommend just popping everything else on once, uh, everything else at once, and leave one yokai on screen, and then just kind of use like a little looping mechanism to connect all 20 of those. And then once you do that, you'll be set to go for your good friend Bananos hanging out at the apartments. That's pretty cool because in Yokai Watch 1, that's exactly where you find him, near the um, Tranquility apartment. So, anyway, Bananos, uh, he likes candy. So give him any kind of candy. You could give him shaved ice, you could give him a giant cracker, or some gooey candy that you found under a car. Give him that, and hopefully he'll be yours. Okay, uh, moving on. We have another one, right? Right? Oh, almost. Okay, Dr. Madaman. Dr. Madaman, are you guys getting the trend on how many seconds you're going to need him, need to beat him within? 240. So beat him within 240 seconds and uh, you'll have access to his sewer. So his sewer is right over here. This sewer is actually pretty good. You can get Frostina, which is a pretty good yokai. You can fuse her with a glacial clip and get Blizzaria. Alright, so, oh man, I keep on doing that. 
So let's actually go back. Now, right over here, stage 111 is the very next area. There's a secret area in this one. So going all the way to the top. Uh, 111, 111... No, right over here. Yeah, so this uh, was that stage. Was that. Uh, 111, you're going to have to score uh, over 120,000. My score was 163. It's pretty easy to score that high. Just make sure that if you're aiming for scores, waste all of your Sultimates during Fever Time, especially if they're attacking Sultimates, because you score more points within Sol uh, Fever Time. So anyway, once you do that, you'll have access to SP, the three-eyed looking floating puppy thing. Weird. Anyway, uh, so yeah, SP likes... Uh, vegetables. So if you have a Matsutake, if you got some bamboo shoot, you can go for it there. Okay, moving on. Once you cross all the way up here, you have stage 118. Uh, this is my good friend Ilu. I love the Ilu brothers so much. They're my favorite yokai. And uh, once you go to one stage, one stage 118, all you have to do is enter fever time three times or more. It'll take a while, but if you have a rearranger yokai like Demona, or uh, Mirapo that can rearrange some yokai so you can get some pretty good chains, you'd be able to get Fever Time three times. Once you do, you'll have access to Almi. This is the only stage where you can find Almi. And of course, bring bread, because Almi likes bread. So that's cool. Moving on, Master Odin. Ooh, Master Odin stage. I still haven't gotten this guy yet. Anyway, go to Scranny looking like a granny in stage 123. Beat the level in under 90 seconds. If you're able to beat that within 90 seconds, you'll unlock Master Odin, the very first time we see this really awesome looking yokai with the ladle and apron and everything. Anyway, Master Odin is a fan of, guess it, Odin stew, so he likes that stuff. Feed him that and hopefully you guys can get him. Okay, uh, moving on, Casanono is the next one that we're going to be going to. He's actually in stage uh, 130 over here with Happy Air. He's in Gourd Pond. So in this level, we're going to achieve a combo of 15 or more. Kind of like what we've done in the previous challenge, comboing 15 or more. Make a whole bunch of Wibwobs on screen, pop them, and if they're bigger than a size 2 Wibwob, then you'll actually get a combo. So get 15 or more. Uh, stage 130, and then you'll get Casanono. Casanono likes bread. No, no, sweet things. Sweet things, yes. Oh my gosh, Casanono was really hard for me to get. But I eventually did it by throwing enough of those uh, royal pancakes at him. <laughs> I love pancakes. All right, moving on, we got uh, Phantasmari. Phantasmari, I think you guys know how many seconds you're going to need by now. It's 250. 250 seconds, beat this yokai, and you will have access to... Dun, 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 sewer F. Now, Sewer F is really good because... Uh, if you attack Zerberker a bunch of times, you can easily get a Shard of Evil, which I haven't gotten yet. So keep on grinding on that level, and hopefully you'll get something good. But anyway, that's Sewer F for you. Go on through, and hopefully you can get something good out of that. All right, moving on. Okay, this is Excellent Tower, if you guys have made it this far. 158 is the level that we're going to next. So going all the way through to the very top of the tower, I like how the camera pans out a little bit. 158, my Illu brothers, uh, this is Alu. Uh, if you beat the Alu stage uh, with a... No, no, you have to beat it with Paws of Fury. So that Jabanyan that you've had a long time ago since the very beginning of the game, bring him on board and then beat the very last Alu with Paws of Fury. And by all means, once you do, you'll have access to a very cool yokai, Robanyan. I love Robanyan so much, he's such a good yokai. Uh, he likes Chocobar, so he's pretty much one of the only yokai that likes Chocobar, besides the whole Jibanyan line. So, find a Chocobar out of the shop, give it to him, and good luck getting him. Alright, so we have our very good friend iClone. Uh, if we have iClone, uh, what we're going to need to do is beat iClone within 300 seconds. So, it's adding an additional 10 seconds for it. So, beat him within there, and then you'll have access to the Observation deck, which is pretty cool. The Observation deck is, like, in a circle, and this is exactly like Yokai Watch 2. I love it so much. They were so true to Yokai Watch 2, it's not even funny. So, anyway, Observation deck, you have an opportunity to catch, uh, or befriend Chilwawa, and he's actually pretty hard. I haven't gotten him yet, so I gotta go back and grind for him a bit. But, anyway, that's pretty cool that you're able to access the Observation deck. Alright, so once you're done with Excellent Tower, 
we're going to continue to Yokai World. Now, Yokai World is actually filled with lots of secrets. So, here we go. Moving on through to Gate 3, Gate 2, of course, Gate uh, 1, Gate 0, and then right over here, you're going to beat this gate and go straight to Dr. or um, McCracken. Yeah, McCracken over here. Uh, now, McCracken has four secret levels chained to him, which is pretty insane. So, wow, McCracken, are you kidding me? Oh, wait, 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 never mind, I, I passed a couple, here we go, never mind, 169, before we go to McCracken, like, I love McCracken level, that's why I'm, like, instantly trying to go over there, before we go over there, of course, there's a couple secret areas, uh, we got Merkel right over here in 169, you have to create a Wibwob size 25 or bigger, that's a huge Wibwob, so, make sure that you defeat all of the, uh, neighboring enemies, and there's only one Yokai left, and then, you can take your time, physically popping all the ones you don't want, and then connect the gigantic one, make a size 25, and you'll have access to Bruff. Anyway, Bruff is a fan of ramen, so bring some ramen and hopefully you can befriend him. All right, so moving on, Slitheraf right over here. Uh, right inside Rhinogon's stage. Rhinogon is a pretty good yokai. Unfortunately, we don't have the, uh, the other soul for his fusion. That would be really cool, by the way. Anyway, uh, we need to create a 10 or more bonus balls. Now, 10 or more bonus balls is a very hard task to do. You have to focus on making gigantic webwobs, popping them, and hopefully, whenever you pop that bonus ball, you can make the surrounding um, webwobs even bigger, and then connect those to make another one, and then rinse and repeat 10 times. You may need to bring some healers in order to prolong your ability to do so. So again, really, really hard to do. But some of you guys can do it easy. So Slitheraf right over here, very cool yokai. Uh, exactly like in Yokai Watch 1, this is the only area where you can find him. And he likes seafood, so bring seafood and you'll be set to go. All right, moving on over here. Okay, so now this is my, like my favorite part. I loved playing through this area. So we got McCracken, and with McCracken on 182, uh, in order to enter into the McCracken area, you need to beat 182 with getting a high score of over 150,000. I've got 250,000. It's pretty easy to do. Like I said, if you're aiming for high scores, use your Sultimates during Fever Time and just rack up the scores. You'll be fine. All right, so once you do that, you'll have access to Timid Evil's level. Now, Timid Evil's, Timid Evil's level... Um, we're going to achieve a combo of 20 or more in order to move on to Ciro's level. So achieving a combo of 20 more, a little bit hard to do, but it's not impossible. Make sure you're connecting your webwobs and then popping them all within three seconds of each other. So that's cool. Once you do that, you'll have access to Ciro's level. Now, in Ciro's level, uh, what we're going to need to do is pretty much uh, just beat it. And then once you beat it, you'll go through and get McCracken. So that's, that's pretty easy. So beat that, you'll have access to McCracken. Now, McCracken has uh, access to a couple different things. Now, once you beat McCracken, if you beat him with a Sultimate move, you're going to have access to this Bruff level. So beat McCracken with the Sultimate, you'll access Bruff. Now, inside Bruff's level, <laughs> there's so much secrets going on in this area. Inside Bruff's level, you have to beat the... The level 10 times. You gotta beat it 10 times. Not necessarily in a row, but beat it 10 times, and then you'll have access to the very cool Frost Tail. That's a rank S yokai right there. And of course, Frost Tail is easily grindable. You can keep on getting as many Frost Tails as you want in order to boost Frost Tail's ultimate. So that's pretty cool to me. Uh, anyway, uh, so in order to get uh, Hooligan Road, you're going to have to beat McCracken within 350 seconds. Now, that's going to be pretty hard, so make sure that you bring all of your offensive yokai and just have at it. The recommended level is 47, so by this time, you should have a maxed out Shogunyan or some other really strong, brave yokai. So moving on, um, yeah, you can't really go anywhere over there, but once you do beat him in 350 seconds, you'll have access to the wonderful Hooligan Road. Hooligan Road looks really awesome. I gotta go through and get all these stars yet. But anyway, Hooligan Road is pretty great because at the end of Hooligan Road, you can aim for Shadow Venoct. He's a very, very good offensive slippery yokai. And of course, he likes seafood, so make sure that you bring some seafood for him. Yeah, it took me about 8 to 10 tries in order to befriend him, and it was pretty good. But anyway, that's all we can go for right now.
until the game gets updated. But those are the very uh, hidden levels within the entire main game. If you guys are playing through the Mystery Way event, that's going to be ending kind of soon. So don't even worry about it ending. You can go through and um, hopefully they'll reopen it later on. So anyway, go over to Map Warp. I'll show you guys some three bonus areas. So Mystery Way, this is pretty much the Goldie Bones event where you can go through and get uh, loads of coins by grinding on um, Goldie Bones at the end. So anyway, right over here... In Mystery Way, Stage 7, if you clear this within 65 seconds, you'll have access to... Dun, 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 pain! Now, what, what's cool about Pain is that you can get a general soul by grinding on this guy. And you can do that in the regular sewer area that I told you about a little bit earlier on in the game. So, grind against Pain, get your general soul, fuse it with Beetle, or Beetler in order to get Beetle. So anyway, that is Mystery Way. There's a secret area over there. We're going to go over to Super Mystery Way right now. So let's pretend we're over here. Super Mystery Way coming all the way through. And of course, if we're on stage 19 over here, you have to score 150,000 or more in the level in order to get this next one, which is awesome. Master Odin. Now, Master Odin has a chance of dropping the Gigahertz Orb, so make sure that you grind against him, get the Gigahertz Orb, give it to Signible, and you will get your very own Signaton. Very cool. So once we're done with that, uh, go over here, beat Goldie Bones, hopefully get some pretty good coins off of him, and then we're going to be in Ultra Mystery Way. Now, I really wish that Level 5 would just leave Mystery Way open. It doesn't have to just be a specific event. Just leave it open. We love that. Anyway, so right over here on Level 31, what we're going to need to do is beat the stage with Zerberker. Now, if you guys grinded in whatever that one sewer was with Zerberker as the boss, and you got a Zerberker, make sure you use him in this level so that you can actually have access to Zerberker stage. Now, again, Zerberker grinding is really good in order to get that Shard of Evil. So do so. Highly recommend it. But anyway, and that's it. That is literally the entire game. I showed you guys pretty much every single hidden path within the game as of right now until the next update. So, that's all we have. If you guys enjoyed the episode, you know what to do. Smash that like button, and of course, share the video with a friend. We're going to be continuing on with all of these awesome tutorials very soon, so stay tuned to the channel. If you guys already didn't, uh, please, please subscribe. And if this uh, video definitely helped you out, you know what to do. Smash the like button, share the video with a friend, and of course, download the game and play along with me. It is awesome. We got loads of other tutorials in the comment section, or sorry, in the description. You guys can see all of the awesome links over there. And uh, I'm just going to keep on playing. I've got a couple more tutorials to work on. And if you guys want to see a tutorial in specific, let me know in the comments. I might do it. So thanks for watching. Be sure to smash that like button and share it so that other people can get informed about the awesome game that is Yo-Kai Watch Wibble Wobble. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.